Florence the Flamingo. Florence was a flamingo and she was beautiful. Each day she stood in the shallow water of the blue lake. The breeze ruffled her frilly feathers. The sun shone on her bill. She looked gorgeous. Of course, all the other flamingos looked beautiful too. But Florence never looked at the others. The truth was, she spent most of her time looking at herself. The still water of the lake was like a huge dazzling mirror. But most important, the lake was where the huge flock of pink flamingos gathered in its water to feed. Florence always stood in the center of the flock, so the other flamingos could see how beautiful she was. The other flamingos worried about her. Florence, you are so busy look at yourself that you are forgetting to eat, they said. You are becoming thin and weak. Pull yourself together. But Florence didn't listen. One summer, the weather turned unusually hot. It was even hot in the shed. The lake started to dry up. It slowly grew smaller and smaller. The flamingos were worried. It's time to leave, they said to each other. The lake is shrinking and the fish are drying. So there will be no food at all. Let's fly away to the cooler place, they said. The next day, 100 flamingos took to the skies. What a sight they were. Their pink feathers rose high like a cloud of cotton candy. The pink cloud got smaller and smaller and it rose higher and higher. Come with us, Florence, they called. It's time to leave. The water is drying up and leaving piles of salt behind. Come on. But Florence wasn't listening. She stood gazing into the shallows of the lake. As the water dried, it had left thousands of shining salt crystals around her ankles. Wow! Florence had never seen anything so pretty. The crystal looked like a sparkling jewels. She tried to pick up her feet and take a closer look at her shiny new bracelet. But she couldn't move. The salt had formed such a heavy cuff around each foot that she was stuck. Never mind, thought Florence. Nobody has bracelet like mine. I just wish everyone could see how they glitter and shine. Although Florence couldn't see them, she was being watched by a pack of hungry hyenas. They waited quietly in the thick grass at the edge of the lake. Be patient. The hyenas said to each other, She has not going anywhere. When the lake dries out completely, we will walk out there and grab her. We won't even get our paws wet. <laughs> As evening fell, Florence realized that she was truly alone. She was hungry and she was scared too. She couldn't move. She tried to free herself from the salt cuff that held her down, but she was too thin and weak. She certainly couldn't fly. Luckily, the older, wiser flamingos felt sorry for her. We can't leave her, they said. She doesn't see that her foolish pride has gotten her into trouble and they returned to pick away the crusty cuff. Florence was grateful to her friends. She had been so proud of her beauty that she had put herself in danger. 
Sometimes she miss her bracelet, but not enough to get trapped in the lake again.